Zach Cox, Dakota Randall here inside Arizona Stadium at the University of Arizona where the Patriots are practicing this week ahead of their trip to Las Vegas this weekend. Very busy day of injury news for the Patriots. The most notable update uh, coming in the form of defensive tackle Christian Barmore who was back at practice today starting the 21-day clock on his return from injured reserve. Doesn't necessarily mean he will play this weekend against the Raiders, but certainly a positive development there. Yeah, huge. I mean, the Patriots, thankfully, unlike last season, have, have been able to get some supplementary pass rush, most notably from Josh Uche and for much of the season, Dietrich Wise. But this is a defense where if they can get Christian Barmore back in the lineup and at the level he was at last season, they'll be that much better. Yep, certainly uh, some other injury situations that we'll be monitoring this week. Uh, uh, there's a chance the Patriots could be, again, without some key players on both sides of the ball. Devontae Parker, Jacoby Myers, both not practicing today. Ramondre Stevenson, also not out there at practice. Jack Jones, not practicing. Patriots did get a few names back on the field. Jalen Mills was back out there, probably the most notable one. Also, Damian Harris was at practice, seemed to be a little bit limited. Uh, still no Isaiah win as well. So a lot of kind of injury situations that the Patriots are monitoring right now. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, those are big ones because for the Patriots, you know, one of the keys to this game is going to be, one, can you keep up with the Raiders offense if they do get going? And it's obviously going to be tough to stop that offense if you don't have Jack Jones. Jalen Mills getting back is a good thing. But for the Patriots, you, know, you can get away with not having Jacoby Myers and Devontae Parker against a bad Cardinals team. Not like the Raiders are great, you know, but if you don't have those two receivers, it might be tough to keep pace with Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro, Darren Waller, Josh Jacobs, if they all play. So those are definitely some injuries worth monitoring for sure. Some good news for the Patriots on the injury front injury front rather we spoke with Trent Brown the Patriots offensive tackle after practice he has been playing lately but he's been playing in a pretty limited capacity Brown revealed to us that he was dealing with a bad case of the flu uh, for really the last two or three weeks said it caused him to lose 12 pounds really hurt uh, him from a conditioning standpoint from a wind standpoint uh, he said he's not quite back up to 100 percent just yet but he hopes to be by this Sunday and that would certainly be a boost for this Patriots team especially since this weekend they have to face two of the better pass rushers in the NFL and Max Crosby and Chandler Jones. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, there's been, I guess, maybe some some criticism of Trent Brown over the last few weeks, maybe some people questioning his effort and overall performance. But, you know, if you saw him the, the way we saw him after that Buffalo game, it was obvious that he was really sick and that was really limiting him. So I, it's clearly been affecting him for a while. And so, yeah, if they can get him back to full strength, not really feeling that Ill illness anymore, that's a huge boost because they need him going forward because we've all seen the difference for the Patriots offense when they're protecting Mac Jones and when they're not pre protecting Mac Jones. And Trent Brown is a huge part of that. Uh, plenty of news to monitor. As we go through the week here in Arizona, the Patriots will practice here again Thursday and Friday before traveling to Las Vegas to take on the Raiders.